Hey, 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 I'm back. It's been a while. Oh, it's been a while. I know, it's heat some. I'm in the car right now. And I got a, a little minute away from the little ones. Well, I've been trying to wait for the right time to come back here and record again and just deliver messages that have been placed in my spirit from the Holy Spirit and the Most High. And I've been looking for the right time, the right, <laughs> the perfect time. And I've been um, looking to manage this and to manage that and time management. But I have to remind myself that I am a wife, a mother, and I care for little ones who are all at this time under five years old and there are three little ones so if you are a mother a wife with small children then you know exactly what i am going through you know exactly what i mean and you know exactly what i am experiencing so <clears throat> Excuse me, with um, all that being said, hey, the time is whenever I find the time. And let me just tell you this um, I'm just talking right now. I have no, um, I, I wasn't really coming out to, on here to. Um, just to talk. I'm just coming out to talk, you know. And I may share one scripture that had been placed in my spirit. And it definitely um, is in Ecclesiastes. And uh, it relates to the season. <laughs> the scripture is about there's a time in the, in the um, season for all things so i'll go and pull that one but exactly this is what i mean when i'm saying that i am in a season now or there's another season because i have been away for a season or a little more than a season um <laughs> according to you know the Gregorian calendar so <laughs> but um I've been away for maybe two seasons maybe three but that's okay because I've been doing my best to figure it out and I really miss coming on here and uh for me uh I, I miss um sharing those messages that the father gives me to share and it's a, a form of therapy for myself, um, being able to take some time out to, um, for myself, self-care, you know, self-care, something that, um, uh, you know, I do, but I don't do as often as I should, especially, <laughs> you know, with all I do on a daily basis, and let me tell you something. Whenever I feel that I am getting ready to um, get ahead of my schedule, uh, really, you know, you know, um, no, I, I'm not getting ahead of my schedule at all. <laughs> I'm not getting ahead of it at all. But hey, glory to the Father because His time is perfect timing and he's always on time and so therefore if i am moving according to the holy spirit i'm on time <laughs> so hey glory glory to the father and um i'm not going to stress about it i'm not going to worry about it and neither should you ladies sisters let me tell you 
We do which we might not always credit ourselves for. We may beat ourselves up, but don't beat yourself up if you do this because I know I do it from time to time. And I have to stop myself from doing it and understand that I can only, we, you, me, we can only do so much in a day. So much in a day. And there will be times when we won't have time to get everything done. That day, the next day, and the day after. <laughs> but it's okay. Okay, so because I'm back again. I had, well, my phone had, because I was recording on my phone, my phone, um was full the storage was full so it completely just stopped recording me so i tried again to remove some um, files off of my phone but that still did not help good enough because i was cut off again in mid conversation so um I just figured, look, I'm going to have to just come back later and finish out on my desktop, which I am doing now. So, um, just to um, review some of what um, I was mentioning earlier when I was in my vehicle about um, where I've been, <laughs> I, where I've been, um, and I went over some of that. Mainly, I've been with my children. Um, and it is very fulfilling, yet it can be a challenge. It can be, it can get or become overwhelming. Um, but I absolutely adore my little ones my children they are a breath a, a fresh breath in my life in our lives so they all have their own individual personalities and I love each and every one of them the way they were created who, for who they are, and um, they bring joy into our lives. So, here I am now, and as I stated before, I really, really do miss being here in this space to talk to other women, um, to share messages that the Father has placed on my spirit. Um, I'm working on not beating myself up because I know that, um, you know, I have situations in my life, but it, it, it gets to me, I will share when I do receive a message in my spirit and I find it hard or challenging for me to get it out because say like I can write it down and get it out and you know be at peace but it's more because that's that's writing down my thoughts and my feelings and things like that it is what makes me comfortable and I can release you know that way speaking to the father just to get it out so it would not be something that you know I feel is um, I'm constantly thinking about and it's 
constantly on my mind. So that way, I, that's a that's a way I could go about and um, just release. But it's more of a challenge for me to speak it out because um, I know for myself that's a challenge for me to speak it out, to speak it, you know. So I'm being obedient to the Father now by speaking it out um, as I am when uh, I write it out or I think it out. But to speak it out is does something else to my spirit. It it brings me joy. It, it's therapeutic. It's it's therapeutic and it makes me feel so like relieved, so relieved. So speaking it out and talking it out is what I'm doing now and sharing with you all. So, um, I would like to be back here more and record messages that I receive from the Father, and I will do my best to do it in a way where it could become more consistent. I can, I can definitely do my best to do that, yet I know not to make a commitment yet at this time because my top priority are my home and my children and my family and um, again I do have other um, say like commitments such as um, holding the prayer line which we do here on this on Saturdays which we keep uh, the Sabbath day um, Friday sundown to Saturday sundown so we, myself and other women and sisters, we come together and we pray. We pray to the Father um, for our nation, for our families, for each other, for whatever it is that's placed in our heart. So by doing that, we are in agreement with one another and we just, um, it's a time for us to uh, take time out and come together for the Father and even through it all we we have learned to um, know each other or one another differently so um, if anyone out there if you have a passion for prayer if you have a passion for the father, for sisterhood, for womanhood, contact me. Leave a comment um, and I'll be sure to respond so that you can learn how we go about that and if you're interested you're welcome to join us so um that's number one i guess <laughs> and um i think that's pretty much all i wanted to do was come here just not not to not to um go into too much but just to reintroduce myself and I know I haven't stated my name um, at the beginning of my video but um, I go by Nayama Israel in the in as my Hebrew name the new name that was placed on my spirit through the Holy Spirit as the daughter of the Creator the Most High the Almighty many people call or he's known um, by many names but you know we know that he is the creator and of all things so um, I'm not going to get lost into 
uh, what name someone may recognize the father as because you know I rather just allow the father to reveal and to work on each person individually as he speak with them according to or when it comes to the name that they call him on to a to uh, communicate with the Father, the Creator in heaven, and on earth as well. So, um, I just wanted to say that it's just been placed on my spirit, um, and hey, if it's been put on my spirit, I'll relate it. <laughs> so, um, it's it's just it just feels good to be back here, um, and I I want to be here more often. I would like to I would like to come back more often and just um, you know share the messages that are given to me into um, heaven where my or you know where my light shines in this world for somebody who may need to hear what it is that the Father needs them to hear for them to come back to Him. So I'm just a messenger of the Father. And um, I am grateful that the Father is using me found me to be a good or should I say found me to be capable to and faithful to uh, share his messages to those who have not fully grasped what it is that they must he hear and understand from the Father because he, the Father uses many of mouths to reach his people. So I may be that mouth or that spirit that someone, the Father uses for someone to return back to him. And that there is, is what this is all about. That there is what this is all about. And I just want and desire to be a good and faithful servant of the Father. So I'm being obedient. I'm being obedient. And I'm I'm tuning in to the voice of the Father, of the Holy Spirit. I'm tuning in, I'm turning it up, turning up my volume in to hear the Father. To hear the Father within me. And I'm so very grateful that he had chose me to do this work. I'm very grateful. I am very grateful. And I do not take it for granted. But before I leave, I would like to share this scripture. And I know that it has a lot to do with this message that um, I am speaking of at this moment. So um, let me go ahead and get this scripture. Uh, I believe is in Ecclesiasticus, I believe. Um, 
So that would be in the Old Testament. And I am going to go to the um, King James Version. And I am going to go to the um, chapter and verse. So if you have a King James Version Bible or if you have a, a, a Bible, just uh, correlate it, whatever version you have correlated to the King James Version, which I'm getting ready to read in a moment. So, um, this is what I have been, um, in my season. This, this is where I have been in my season. Uh, my um, time away my time away this is where where I, where I have been so so if you can just um, go with me here to Ecclesiastes 3 and uh, one second one second okay so usually I have my Bible but since I have my phone right here um, and I don't I have anything prepared um, I'm just going to read from my phone but I myself personally I, I prefer to read from my book my Bible um, because um, I just don't like to stare into the phones um, for a long period of time to, to read anything it hurts my eyes <laughs> but um, if you have your phone or if you have your Bible and um, you can turn to Ecclesiastes 3 chapter 3 verse verse th we'll start at verse 1 and then we'll just read to whatever spirit says stop so to everything there is a season this is um, Ecclesiastes 3 chapter 3 verse 1 in a time I'll start over to um, chapter 3 to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven a time to be born a time to die, a time to plant, a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill, a time to heal, a time to break down, a time to build up, a time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. So that was down to verse 8. And verse 7 among those lines is the season that I have been in. And I'm so very grateful. Um, to the Father because as I mentioned his timing is the perfect timing his timing is the perfect timing and when you are walking with the Father there's no rush there's no um, rat race there is no um, hours to schedule 
on. The time is according to the Father to move. So move according to the time that the Father has for you. So that you will be in alignment with your purpose, with his will. So I'm going to read three, one. I'm going to read, excuse me, Ecclesiastes verse three. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, excuse me, in verse 7. And it says again, A time to rend and a time to sow. Mm. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. So this is my time to speak. My time of silence has passed and this is my time to speak and I'm not concerned about it being perfect I'm not concerned about a perfect schedule I'm not concerned about time management because I'm in perfect timing I'm, I'm in the time that the father has allotted for me to be in in this moment in this moment presently, I am in the time that he has allotted for me to be in. He knows the desires of our hearts. He knows. So if it is his will, I will see you again some other time. Maybe sooner than later. But just know that I do love you all. And I do look forward to coming here again to share the messages that the Father has placed within me. But I must be patient and I must be patient and waiting until the Father gives me the, I'll say, green light. He gives me the time he gives me the go he gives me you know what it is that he desires to give me and when he says go I'll go and when he says stay I'll stay so Therefore, at this time, I'm going to go. And I do plan on being back again. I just wanted to come on here and just talk a little bit, chat a little bit, and um, let you all know where I've been. And now that you know, <laughs> there will be a time. Yeah. If it's the Father's will, I'll be back here again. Um, so, if if you have anything you would like to say regarding this um, message, please leave a comment. Um, if you would like to join the women's prayer line, please leave a comment, and um, we'll go we'll go from there, so that we'll see if this is something you would like to do to join with us. And 
I believe that this time and in this moment that this is um, all for now that I would like for each and every one of you to be patient with yourself and to know that the Father's timing is perfect timing and you are exactly where He wants you to be. And if you are a mother with small children like I am and you um, you you know you are juggling this and you're juggling that and you find that you don't get at there or you find that there may not be enough time in the day to get a portion of what you need to get done please don't stress yourself about it don't worry about it hand it over to the father and do what you can do because without you taking care of yourself how could you take care of anyone else so through it all make sure that you have time for self care for self love fill your cup make sure you are full because if your cup is not full how could you pour into anyone else how so I understand sister I understand what it is that you may be facing I'm right with you but it's going to get better enjoy the time and the season that you are in at this moment enjoy it so with that I would just like to say um, until next time take care of yourself and um, we'll talk again later